Today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to start your new ionic dual handed gyroscopic exerciser. It's a simplicity in itself. You press the on button, you wait for about 10 or 15 seconds as the onboard electric starter whisks the rotor into action. You grab it with both hands and you start to pedal. It's a very simple action. You literally imagine you have a small little miniature bicycle and you're starting to pedal. It's a combination of forward, backwards, forward, backwards, or up, down, up, down, rocking. That pedaling action is a combination of both of those movements. And once you get in sync, and this is very important, you need to get in sync with the spinning rotor inside, otherwise it'll die after about 10 or 15 seconds. It's just like a hula hoop. You can look at somebody using a hula hoop and it looks very, very simple, but you try it yourself and you'll find that it falls to the ground like a useless piece of plastic because you're not in phase or in sync with the spinning hoop. It's exactly the same as this. If you're out of phase with the spinning rotor, it will stop. And it's just like riding a bicycle. It's very difficult to show somebody how to ride a bicycle using an instruction book or a video. You've got to feel your inner rotor. So it's a question about timing the pedals, for want of a better word, until you lock in. And when you lock in, you will feel the resistance that the actual the product is developing as it fights against you. And you can actually hear the speed building It puts a lot of resistance out. It goes from the arms, shoulders and chest. It takes a lot of pressure. This will generate over 100 pounds of resistance at full speed. But again, it's a useless piece of plastic unless you know how to use it. So rocking it from side to side, if you prefer, until you build the speed up or up and down, basically until you get in phase with the spinning gyroscope inside. And when you do, you'll feel it and hear as the rotor starts to increase and the resistance begins. Alternatively, because you can use this like a power ball, you can immediately switch to a single handed use and spin it like that, get the speed up, and then grab it with two hands and start. As I say, that might be your preference. Press the button, wait for 15 seconds, and start stirring the pot, is what we say. It's literally just nice rotation movements. Imagine a, a glass of ice, or sorry, a glass with some ice cubes at the bottom. And you're just swirling those ice cubes around. That's how you start this. And the faster you rotate your wrist, the faster the rotor inside spins, and the more resistance it creates, and then you can switch into dual handed mode. It's like anything, you need to dial it into your subconscious to actually make it an automatic uh, reaction or an automatic movement. Once you get it once, you'll always get it. As I say, persistence, some people will get it in a minute, some people it might take an hour. But once you lock in and you get in phase with that rotor, the resistance is monumental and you'll feel it straight away. If you have any questions, uh, you can message us on info at ionicgyro.com or on info at rpmpower.com. Those are our two websites. Uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions and we'll get back to you immediately. Thank you so much for watching.